All right, welcome back everybody. So we covered questions one, two, and three. Uh, let's do questions four, five, and six in this video. So here, for questions four, five, and six, four, let's just take a look at it real quick. It's saying that if, um, let me put this over here and then zoom in. All right, it says um, a sample of 11 drivers record the number of minutes they sat in rush hour traffic on a specific snowy day. Find the mean, median, mode, and mid-range of these data values. Okay, and then question five is saying that, what else do we want to do? Let's just highlight the important things. We want the, want the mean, the median, the mode, the mid-range. We want the sample variance, standard deviation, um, round to one decimal place value, and the five number summary. Okay, all of this, let's first, I'm gonna show you how to do all of these by hand. Actually, I'm not gonna show samples variance and standard deviation by hand. I'll have that in a different video just because it takes a little too long. But um, I'll show you how to do all of these by hand and then I'll also how to show you how to use the calculator to literally knock out these three questions in maybe like four minutes or three minutes. But Okay, let's just go through the questions. But here, let's just make sure we understand mean, median, mode, and mid-range. So here, um, let me fix the camera angle. Okay, so when we talk about the mean, it's very straightforward. We're just adding all the data values and dividing it by the total number of data values. So all we need to do with these data values is just add them all up and divide by the number of the number amount. So here, uh, let's take a look that if these are the data values, right? Then all we need to do is just add them up over here. And there were a date 11 data values. And if you were to put this into your calculator, it should come out to 56.54 or just 56.5. And that's just rounding it to one decimal digit to the right. So that was, you know, pretty, pretty straightforward. Here, when we're trying to find the median, what are we doing for the median? The median is the middle data value when arranged in order from least to greatest. Uh, so here, if you have an odd number of data values, your life is pretty, it's just very straightforward, right? All you have to do is play this game of scratching them out till you get to the middle most value, which is uh, 56. And there you go. And that's your answer. But like, let's say if you had like uh, 72 as a data value here, then what you would have to do is you have to take this 56 plus this 58 and find the mean within that. So you just, you know, that's just uh, 57. So if you had an even amount of data values, you would have to take the two middle most. And that's what I was talking about here in the green. Here for the mode, uh, the mode is the data value that occurs the most. So let's just look at a few examples. If I were to say, let's just look at these data values here. If I have uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, which data value occurs the most, it's just one, right? Here, let's see this example. If I have one, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, which data value occurs the most? Well, three, four, and five occur twice. So here the mode would be three, four, and five. Here, in this example number three, neither here will say that this is no mode because no data value is more frequent than the others, okay? So when we look at the example or the data values from here in this list, notice that the 53 and the 58 occurs the most. So the mode would just be uh, 53 and 58. That would be the mode for, this, for these data values. Here, the mid-range, all we need to do to calculate the mid-range is um, let me fix this. Okay, let's look at this and zoom in. So to find the mid range, all we need to do is take the least and greatest data values, add them and divide by two. Very, very straightforward. So here, when within the data values that we have here, notice that the 49 and the 71 this is the least data value, this is the greatest data value. You add them, you divide it by two. So 49 plus 71 is 120, divided by two is 60. So 60 represents a mid-range, right? Okay, for the next part, 
let's look at the sample standard deviation and sample variance which you're asked to cover over here um, so yeah what we need to do is we need to use the calculator for this so what I'd like you to do is take out some hopefully we have one some TI 83 or TI 84 doesn't matter some calculator and just watch the moves that I'm going to do so let me make sure I have everything set up okay let me zoom in okay and this is good um, right over here okay okay so now here these are the data values right so what we want to do is we want to plug in these data values so the way we plug them in we have to go to stat that would be the first move and let me actually zoom out a little bit so here we go to stat and then we're going to go to edit and then we're going to oh my god my bad guys i'm trying to find a nice camera angle for us okay so here we go to stat we go to edit and we hit enter now notice you're going to have some l1 over here and some l2s over here all you need to do is plug in the data values for l1 so here for l1 what's the first data value it's going to be this 49 so i just type in 49 and i hit enter and notice that it, it's over here and then we just go to the next one. So it's 51, you hit enter, 52, enter, 53, enter. So pause the video and just, you know, enter these data values. 53, 56, 58, uh, 58, 60, 61, and 71. Okay, um, so we plug these in. And now what we wanna do is we wanna go back to the home screen. So we're gonna hit second mode and now we're at the home screen. And all we need to do is we hit stat, and then we go to the right arrow, we hit go to calculate, and then we go to one var stats. You hit enter, and depends on the calculator, but somehow just hit enter, 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 and then somehow you're gonna, not somehow, you're gonna get some data values here. And here, notice that here it tells us the, let's look at this calculator here. Notice that it says our, mean which was 56.54 so notice that it calculated the mean for us it also calculates like the sigma x and the sigma x squares but here what we want to find is that sx this sx here is the standard deviation so here let's take a look at where was this hold on okay. notice that this sx here was uh, 6.15 so let's just write that down so it was 6.154 okay okay and now here I mean we could use the formula for standard deviation for sample standard deviation and if you want you could see this in another video I'll make but here just s is equal to 6.15 um 6.15 okay or actually no let's make it a 6.2 because we're rounding to one decimal digit to the right so if s is equal to 6.2 the sample variance is just s squared so all we need to do is to find sample variance we just take 6.2 and we square it and so sample variance for this is let's see just use the calculator just do 6.2 the whole thing squared oh sorry 6.2 squared and that is uh, 38.44 okay and what this means is you know this is how far the data values deviate from the mean and this shows how spread the data values are okay um, so we're done with four we're done with five let's look at six for six um, here for the five number summary Let's, I'll show you how to do this by hand, and then I'll also show you how to do it in the calculator. But here, the five number summary is you just need to show these five concepts. So here, the minimum value is just the least value within the data within the data value. So the minimum value is just 49. The maximum value is 71, okay? And the median, we already found the median. It was uh, 56. Don't you remember when we found the middlemost data value? So it's 56. Now here, 
Q sub one and Q, so the way you kind of go about this when you're taking the test or whatever, fi first find your minimum value, then your max value, then find your median. Then we're gonna do these two parts last. So the Q sub one is the median of the data values less than Q sub two. So notice that if this 56 is our median, which is Q sub two, to find Q sub one, we need to find the median within these with the data values that are less than Q2. So the median within these five is just 52. So this is just 52. And for Q sub three, all we needed to do was find the median within these data values that are greater than, oh, whoops, sorry, this is wrong. This should say Q sub two, I'm sorry. Um, median of the data values that are greater than Q sub two. And that's over here. So we just do this and this is our Q sub two. I'm sorry, our Q sub uh, three, which is 60. And that's it. These are the five number summaries that we just need to show. But here, if you're just very, if you, I don't know if you're in a rush and you need to do something very fast, notice that if, let's go back to, um, if we hit stats, calc, one var stats, the same way we found the standard deviation, here, let me zoom in a little bit, here, it already tells us these values. Look, the minimum value is 49. The Q sub one is 52. The median is 56. The Q sub three is 60 and the max is 71. The answer is right here. You literally could just go into your calculator and it just tells you that these are the answers for the, the data sets that we had. So that this, I showed you how to do it by hand, but if you wanted to do this within the calculator, you, well, you already put in the data values, right? From the, to find the standard deviation and the variance. So you could just use that to find the five number summary, just, you know, the same way. Just uh, go into stats, uh, go to the right, go to calc, one var stats. And this really tells you a lot of information within the data values that if you don't want to do by hand then the calculator does it for you. Okay, um, so we did questions one to six. In the next video, I'll do uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we're done.